Hello, hello. This was a triumph I'm making a note here Huge success It's, it's hard, hard to overstate my satisfaction, satisfaction. Aperture science We do what, what we must because, because we can For the good of all of us Except the ones who are dead but there's no sense crying over every mistake You just keep on trying till you run out of cake And the science gets done and you make a neat gun For the people who are still alive Bum ba -dum. not even angry I'm being so sincere right now even though you broke my heart and killed me Tore me to pieces And threw every piece into a fire And then they burned it hurt because I was so happy for you Now these points of data make a beautiful line And we're out of beta, we're releasing on time so I'm glad I got burned, think of all the things we learned For the people who are still alive Why, oh, thank you, Nox, baby! <laughs> Why, thank you. Well, 
Look me still talking when there's sides to do. When I look out there, it makes me glad I'm not you. I've experiments to run, there is research to be done when people who are still alive. Believe me, I am still alive. Dying, I'll be still alive. I'm fantastic and I'm still alive. I'm dead, I will be still alive. Still alive, still alive. Still alive. I'm still alive, baby. Encore? All right, I can give an encore. Uh, not that one, though. Uh, we gotta go with a different one. You know, it, it's just... It's gotta be done. You, you've been nothing but a thorn in my side since day one. But I am from Tokyo, the great and I'll not ha! be outdone. Welcome to Fern Tokyo Spectacular Theater in the Pound. Please excuse my thespian vernacular when I say that is going down. Been enough of you, so wine to be my puppet on a string. I've had enough of you. Oh, dance, my little muppet plaything. Now. The audience is thirsty for fun. Time to run. Cause now your denouement has already begun. That means you're done. I could both be pirates on the sea. You'll swab the deck and play your part for me. Mops galore, you'd better keep it clean. Watch out now, my little friend. Cause shocks me is looking mean. I've had enough of you, so time to be my puppet on a string. I've had enough of you, oh, dance my little muppet plaything. Well, hello there, Ania, and welcome. <laughs> A battle like no other. Better move, cause here's another. At least you'll get to see defeat in epic style. The audience is primed, each attack right on time. Seeing you and twine is so worthwhile. But why stop there at a lion, a bear? Put on my petty chair, why don't you smile? The final act is sure to be a theatrical plot twist worthy of a prize. Want a shot? You'd better be more tactical. Messing with Van Tokyo is never wise. Enough of you, so won't you be my puppet? On a string, I've had enough of you. Oh, dance, my little muppet. Play thing. Not to hear with you! So, why don't you finally face it? Your fate is sealed, and everything you do is what I say! Starting now and every day, you'll be my puppet, learn to love it! Every word I say you'll cover! Start anew, stuck like glue, bid your former self adieu, cause I've had enough of you! Was that good for you, Noct? <laughs> now that we are like 13 minutes past the start time <laughs> or no not 13 but three minutes past <laughs> hello everybody and welcome to the stream From oh stream raiders is an update i should have gotten that done earlier oops but hello everybody and welcome to the stream. I am Raw Zim and this is Dyson Sphere Program. Or project or whatever the hell it is. 
I've got it listed as project on OBS. Uh, okay, it is program. I keep getting it mixed up for some reason. Let me get Stream Raiders up and running so that we win the battle, or so we can get the battle started, rather. I've had enough of you, so time to be my puppet on a string. I've had enough of you. Oh, dance, my little muppet plaything. All right, the Stream Raiders battle is up. Go place your troops. Yes, do my nuggy tax. Where's the nuggy tax? Thank you. Oh, nuggy tax. So I got a quest to place five mages. Two musketeers, kill two Ibis guards. Let's get this party started, shall we? The mage would be very useless in this battle. I will go ahead and bring my war beast. All right, go place your troops, everyone. Now let's get started with the game. Shall we, my darlings? My wonderful little playthings. <laughs> so Apparently, I am one short of 100 uh, solar panels. So let's go ahead and fix that, shall we? Get that nice even number. By the way, everyone, do not forget, merch is going, all the merch on the website is going away on March 1st. So if you want some of that merch on the website, go get it now. Also, we're going to redo this whole setup. We've gotten some upgrades, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this a bit. Feed that in. It should be able to reach. It can! 
Ha 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 ha! Eh, we'll do energetic graphite. So... These aren't being able to keep up, but we're gonna be redoing our... Uh, whatever you call it. So that's gonna get 50% power, and so is that. We're gonna head down this way first. Mainly because... Oh, crap. I forgot it'll do that. <laughs> Oops. Alright, we need to go to the right. Oh, you got, yeah, you like your stickers, uh, knocked? Uh, yes, I answered that question for you before, Wolfab. The, uh, coupons will stack if you, uh, redeem it. Alright, we're going to need to make some foundations. Let's make ten. There we go. We're going to stick these all around this area. We need foundation support, huh? Very well. Okay, we're still producing more of those. Whew! I was worried. Let's finish our ring. Huh, that worked out perfectly. <laughs> 
And we still have so... That only took 20 of our solar panels? Oh boy. Okay, so we need to bring this power grid up this way. Go, oh, my little drone! Fly! And there we go. Everything is connected. Or at least it's supposed to be. Uh, okay, that is connected. We still don't have full satisfaction. What the floop? Yes. Oh. Why is the accumulator so fucking expensive? It makes no sense. No Goram sense. One sec, I'm trying to get my phone to load. I see that I got a m message on Discord. Okay. I was hoping it would be merry with an update on the uh, King piece. According to the Associated Press, Computer, December 26th. stop. Alexa was According trying. To the Computer! As a Stop! Go away! I swear if she keeps on trying to pull it off some random bullshit, we're gonna have problems. Okay, so. Alright, I was gonna come over here for more stone. I'm like, why did I fly up and start heading in this di general direction? Alright, back to the South Pole. Or North Pole. Honestly, I have no idea which it is. I just know I'm headed in that direction.
that? Where are my phone? There they are. So, anybody in the stream here remember uh, Fists of Furry Dungeons and Dragons? Out of curiosity. This is more a circle of power than a circle of life. All right, Zerda. Uh, and I asked if anybody here remembers the old uh, Fist of Furry Dungeons and Dragons uh, D and D campaign we used to have. Yeah, I kind of figured it was before most of your time with the uh, channel. All the recordings are on YouTube, for the record. But that's a campaign wound up ending prematurely. And I've decided to bring back my old character from it, Nim Otar. He's gonna be fun. Uh, no, Nim is a, uh, he was a sentient feral, a noble, uh, a noble wolf, um, paladin, who really did not understand a lot of social norms, uh, because, you know, he, he was from the, uh, wilds, and to him... You know, eating a uh, enemy that he had killed is perfectly acceptable. It's just hunting. Like uh, Zerda said earlier, the circle of life. <laughs> Though uh, it would run, in, he would run into problems with the other uh, characters because they were like, "That was a person. You can't eat them." I'm like, <laughs> I was always like, to Nim, that's just prey. Better than leaving the body behind to just rot away, you know? No, no, they were always dead when he would do so. It's like an enemy that you, uh, you know, that random goblin that you, that tried to pickpocket you so you killed them. Yeah, to him, that's dinner. I 
I'm done using all my soil uh, piles, so now I'm just going with uh, making use of the land that's available here to place down all of these. You know, I'm really lucky there aren't uh, enemies in this game. Because they would instantly cripple my entire production going after this. But supposedly there is always power available down here. And that is what I am trying to tap into. Like you always have sunlight down here on the, uh, at the poles for the planet. I think that's good for our solar farm. I definitely need to get my hands on some accumulators to stockpile that power because we are producing a lot more of it than we're actually using. Wait, when did this catch up? Oh, was it not keeping up because of the lack of power? Of uh, power? Oh. Well, good to know. I now have everything uh, under control. Place that with one of these. Uh, to incorporate some of what, Wolfab? the record it is definitely not a fetish thing that is one that I am uh, quite against actually it's just to me it's a simple matter of nature don't like that I have to. I really do not like that I have to specify that. But it is what it is.
Okay, so I've got quite a few of these organic crystals. Which is, you know, helpful. Now, coming up here... Oh, is that full? I think that's full. Cool! Alrighty. So we're catching up on stuff. In fact, I think I could probably add another matrix onto here. I think I will. Well, no. Actually, yes. Yes, I will. going to remove all of this do two of these that in there loop um okay i guess that's how we're doing this one on this one. We really don't need that upgraded as much. trying to connect up there what the hell uh, sometimes this game is very aggravating
Alrighty, stream leaders. Start the battle. At least you secured the uh, most kills, Wolfab. The gold goes to Noct. Congratulations. Now for the Oasis Rush. To which I should bring my musketeer. There we go. Go place your troops, everyone. can be made in the replica right here in my replicator in fact we're gonna go ahead and uh, get some of them processing now So with this, this uh, method of organic crystal crafting, we are going to need plastic. So we're going to need a chemical plant. It says chemical facility. I'm assuming it means plant. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, chemical facility, there it is. Weird way to name it. Let's get that crafting. And that will be for plastic. Which we'll pull from this as well as we'll probably utilize some of the extra graphite from over here if we do have extra it looks like we're having a net gain over here then again I could uh, pull off and do a separate yeah, that might be a better option.
don't have any more of those. We will do that there. That up there. Looks like we do have a net loss, maybe, on this. Yeah, it looks like overall we have a net loss, um, both with the, uh, excess, or that, not excess, extra one. But that's okay with me. It's not that much of a loss, and I don't really need to accumulate that much extra stuff. Oh, that can only be produced in the smelter. Okay. Alrighty. Let's get four of those made. Stick that there. Stick this here. This one will be for plastic. We need one of these here. I'll stick it there. Oh, doesn't that sound lovely? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, uh, we are apparently out of iron. So, I should go grab more. My God. Nope. What are you playing, Timmy? I don't think Timmy can hear me. He's apparently playing something that he had to go parkour with. What is ironic, Zerda? Alright. 
So we'll pump out that uh, plastic into there. Now this also requires refined oil, which will also come from those tanks. And then water. Did I make... Yes, I did make an extra water pump. I'm gonna make another few more uh, storage tanks. <clears throat> I have no idea. Hey, what? What are you playing? League. Oh, he's playing League. I don't know how he's doing parkour in League, but apparently he is. We got a boost goal starting. Or a boost thingamajigger. Go donate for that bo to boost the stream, guys. Go ahead and get a couple more of these. I would like to make sure that we fill up this uh, tank easily. Probably only gonna do this one, uh, just the three of them. Okay, one more. Alrighty, so this is made in the chemical facility, so we're gonna need another one of those. But otherwise, we got everything producing that we require for it. Actually, we might want to set up a second uh, graphite production location. Uh, we'll stick it there. Plastic. 
plastic. Feed that in there. Graphite. Also, we need more of those. set up a, another storage container here. Do that. Eat in there. that. We can go ahead and deconstruct that. We'll do a splitter. Here. go. It's not that high considering we have a couple days to complete it and stuff, but yeah, I also agree. It does seem a bit high for... Uh, well, and considering what it actually does for the channel, I can understand it.
That doesn't look like it's going to be enough plastic. I think we're going to have to do this. Oh, right. And I need to get more of these made. Maybe. Yeah, we're definitely going to be making spaghetti tonight. Holy crap. <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself? Especially on a live belt. Because that's just not going to work for us. Well, on the plus side, we got a bunch of crude oil in our inventory for use as, uh, Whatever I want to use it for, really. This one is plastic as well. There we go. Now we're making science! Ooh. 
Oh, this is awful. So, who's hungry? Cause I got some great, uh, some high quality spaghetti right here. Sure, it's got some oil on it, but that's not a problem. Gotta run water to it. This recipe is organic crystal. for plastic. And over here. Oh no! Houston, we have a problem. Houston, we have a major problem. Fuck. Try bringing it to here. Okay, that'll suffice. Problem solved.
So. Um. Slight problem. And by slight problem, I mean major one. trying to think of how uh, we are not producing enough of these organic crystals fast enough I might have enough of them over uh, here in order to get what I need I can produce a whole whopping 34 of them. Not good. Yeah, might as well get them crafting. Gonna take about six minutes. Okay, at least it's not the organic crystals holding me up. Oh, okay, it's the... Okay, diamonds aren't a problem. Looks like the diamond... Well, and the titanium is gonna ha hold me up as well, but... At least diamonds are a bit more... Easily managed. Because we need somewhere around 200 of them in order to set up the off-world uh, everything. Now, let's go run Stream Raiders and I am going to step away for a moment while I do so. I will be right back.
have returned. Uh, Loco, have a good night. Thank you for coming by. Uh, the chef was Chim. Hi, Orem. Everybody say hi to Orem. He has come out to say hi. And now he is hiding behind his uh, plush tiger that he carries everywhere in a very adorable fashion. Uh, Nob says hi. And he just tried to boop you, Noct, uh, or at least your name on the screen, uh, with the uh, tiger plush that he carries around everywhere. Again, adorable. <laughs> All right, back to the game, everyone. <clears throat> so, we need, we need this. Which will take 80 of those. We also need this. That would be nice, but we can go without it for the time being. Ah. <sighs> You sneeze out confetti because you got booped. Interesting, Noct, but you may want to see a doctor. Just saying. Not the paper confetti you put up there on purpose. Why would you put paper or why would you put anything up your nose on purpose? To be silly. That's not good for your health. Do not listen to Zoro. At uh, all, you kids at home, don't listen to Zoro. He is wrong. Do not do that.
Well, we desperately need to find somewhere with uh, titanium. Can I uh, leave the atmosphere or no? I I don't know how to do this. There, Karma, why are you angry? I mean, aren't you, don't you have uh, notifications up for the Discord, Karma? Or there's the Telegram channel or, you know, multiple other options. <laughs> Now I'm trying to figure out how the hell I leave the planet. 
Does anybody know? Because <laughs> I'm kind of held up by the lack of titanium here. I mean, at least I'm still going. Ah, thank you, Typhon. Um... How do I stop? <clears throat> or change to go to a different planet? Because I need to find titanium. I don't know where I'm going. <clears throat> I just know that I need to find titanium. And there is titanium over here, so how the hell do I get there? Well, there's titanium right here, and it's... I mean... Let's, uh... Let's, uh, Equila 3. There it is. Here we go for a crash landing. Or am I gonna miss it? I missed it! No! Stop! Fuck! <laughs> that way! Turn around, damn it! Yeah, I realize I made a mistake.
Oh god, why does warp speed actually fill me with terror? So we've got silicon, we've got copper, iron, but the main thing we want here is titanium. <clears throat> there it is. Let's get to mining. And we'll sit here forever doing this mining. Yeah, I brought a bunch of extra mech fuel. I made sure of that. Just out of curiosity, Typhon, can I ride on those shuttles for logistics between the planets? Damn it! Keep mining! that's good to know. I don't like it, but it's good to know.
I mean, I guess I could do that still. How do I tell if there's wind power available on this planet? Or can I tell that? Hit M. No ocean. Wind energy. Okay, 40%. Oof. Well, it's something, I suppose. You know what? It would probably be a better idea to run these into a splitter, considering the low power we have available here. Get rid of that. Feed stuff into a smelter. Which will then be smelting the titanium ingots. undo this. Oh, nice! 
That's something I'll be getting to eventually. I have no idea when. Alright. Those should provide a decent amount more power. But I don't really have the resources here on this planet for that. Just not yet, at least. Oh, wait, no. I want to do... We'll do that there. That there. So we can feed directly into the chest. Or container, whatever you want to call the thing. <clears throat> well, I mean, actually, I guess this planet does have uh, silicon ore. Some skins would be nice, uh, as long as they don't charge an arm and a leg for them, because I'm sure they're going to charge for them. So we need to get a lot of these. Oh, the the nuclear energy. I like the sounds of that. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, who who's who? Is it always wise to tell, tell the uh, Martin about a dangerous power source? <laughs> But here's the thing. I am the danger! Well, hello there, Jaffa. I mean, right now I'm just making use of uh, graphite, Typhon. So these organic crystals are going to be the death of me. So saith I. All right, so I'm going to wait for us to get enough uh, titanium that I'll be satisfied with the amount for a while. Namely, I'm gonna fill up to uh, get three more stacks and then we'll head back to the other planet. In the meantime, while we are waiting, let's go ahead and run Stream Raiders. Let's take us to Warp Factor 9, yes? Alrighty, we have Wolf Fab with most kills. And that is it to give out. The gold goes to Noct and the healer scroll to Wolf Fab. Congratulations. So it's looking like immediately when this uh, event ends, we're going to be moving straight into another one. Which is kind of exciting. Alright everybody, go place your troops. And then we have a Martin video. Number 27.
Yeah, Uma was having a little bit too much fun. Since most of what we're doing right now is waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and do another Martin video while I step away for just a moment. And I have returned. Apologies for the absence. And we'll store the rest of that.
Yeah, we'll do that. Alrighty! Why does... <coughs> Okay, we have broken free from the planet. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep your arms, hands, and limbs inside the vehicle as we make our approach on the planet. Also, please brace for impact as we are going in at 600 meters per second straight into the planet's surface. We are not responsible for loss of life or limb as a result of this. <laughs> home. Where the hell is all my stuff? <laughs> ah, there's something. Okay, this is where I'm at. Got it. Okay. This is actually a perfect landing site. Because it is right next to our organic crystal production. Let's add all of these. 
And that will be all of the structure matrixes we need to uh, <clears throat> get interplanetary logistics stuff set up. Alrighty. So once we get those interstellar uh, things set up, we're going to be much better off than we are currently. Does that mean for me, Typhon? What kind of nonsense, in other words, what kind of nonsense am I going to have to set up? So, this will be done in about seven minutes.
So I'm guessing I feed resources into it and it then transports them between planets as I tell it to. Well, that at least seems uh, fairly straightforward. Oh, they use a lot of power. I mean, I've got a hundred uh, solar panels on the pole. <laughs> that giant glowing blue line going across the planet. I love it. But yeah, I got this. I'm guessing it won't be enough though. Are there any other more advanced power solutions that you would recommend I go try and get set up while I'm waiting for all this to be researched? Well, neither of these at least require the uh, structure matrix or, yeah, that, the structure matrix. So, am I putting them next to the solar pan? Am I putting this thing, the rail ejector? Do I put that next to the solar panels or the opposite side of the planet? Yes, but do I put it next to the solar panels or the opposite side of the planet? I wasn't certain uh, with your message. Okay, near the solar panels. Got it. <clears throat> Oh, 
Good to know. What is the, uh, life? Oh, 1800. Oh, God. That does not seem like long enough. 1800 seconds? Hmm. How much power do they get make? these things I see cool well I'm almost done with that Stick those in there. All right. Let's get two of these. I'm going to guess that the ray receiver I want to put towards the pole so it can always be in line of sight with the uh, sun. Or am I wrong on that? Is that the, I mean, is that where I want, where I should place it, or does it really matter? Okay. Go ahead and put these down. They will be set to produce that. Uh, we're gonna get some more storages. We're gonna be doing things manually for a bit just because of uh like transporting things manually just because i don't really want to go through the effort of setting up a giant conveyor belt from over here over to here and stuff actually 
there's not a lot of room right here. I would have done that Typhon, except I don't have enough free soil, and most of the equator of this planet is water. What do you mean by even points? By the way, you are welcome to come join me on voice. I'm always sitting in the, uh, in the voice channel. At least when I'm streaming, you know. Do exclamation point discord in the chat. That'll give you a uh, link to it. Oh, I'm out of conveyor belts. While those are crafting, I will come this way. And refill my inventory on these. You need to go to the streaming room access channel and uh, there it gives you instructions on how to request access to the voice. We just have to do it this way because, you know, trolls and such. All right, stream raiders! Start the battle. Enjoy your stay.
All right, no crowns to give out, but the Archer Scrolls go to Wolf Fab. Congratulations. On to the next battle. And that is that quest complete. Collect my gold. Yay! The research is finished. All right, everybody, go place your troops. You have access to the streaming room now. Now, let's get to this up here. So we now have the ray receiver. We've got everything set up as we need. We'll do that there. Hello. Alright, so structure matrix requires diamonds, which are currently produced very far away. I was hoping there might be coal nearby, but there isn't. But that's okay. I will just manually pull it over here. Hopefully I can connect with that. Sorry, what was that? As long as an item is... Sorry, you are very quiet. I'm having a hard time understanding you. Yeah, I use one oh. of those boom mics. Yeah, you gotta be closer to the mic, but now I can hear ya. Yeah, um, it's one of those two boxes where you should be able to connect the sword to it to get Oh yeah, I've been using, I've been doing that. Uh, it's just that the diamonds are produced on the other side of the planet. In a rather literal sense. <laughs> oh, fuck. So I just have to transport them from over here to over there until I finally get around to setting up the planetary distribution stuff. That should be enough diamonds to last it a long while. At least with the amount of other resources that are required that I have access to at this time. Uh, Lightpaw, we're not on a Dyson Sphere. The entire point of the game is to make a Dyson Sphere. You also don't want to live on one. They're basically energy generators. Yeah, that too. That there. 
And there's the assembler. to another storage cube that will hopefully be close enough to just bridge them. It is! Ha-ha! Now this will be producing titanium crystals. Put the rest of my titanium in here. And then come pick up our or organic crystals. And stick those in the other one. And you're gonna wanna automate the process eventually. Oh, I'm aware. Uh, this is just until I actually am ready to do that. Once I'm ready to automate it, yeah, I'll be automating it. No, pro no questions asked. My main uh, difficulty with automating everything, or this setup, is the lack of actual titanium veins on this planet. And I literally can't yeah, automate uh, it without that. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a problem until you actually automate them being made there and then ship to wherever you want them. I'll be setting that up soon. Uh, I just need to research it. What is Kimberlite ore? I haven't picked that up before. Um, give me a second to remember. Uh, rare ore, directly crystallized from Kimberlite magma under CO2 rich conditions. And diamond can be obtained by further smelting. Okay, I guess I use it oh, to Oh, yeah, that's, that's how you can stick. Yeah, that, that's the ore you can use to skip uh, having to mine coal to make the diamonds. Well, I only got it's, some it's of... It's one of the rares in this game. I only got some of it from uh, a random stone. I don't have a vein of it, so it's not something... Yeah, that's I... how the game introduces you to rares. Ah. Should I hold on to the Kimberlite or just turn it straight into diamonds and put it into pr the production setup? Like, is it used for That's... anything else other than uh, diamonds? No, it's not used for anything. It's not used for anything else other than diamonds. Okay. Then. I'm going to warn uh, you right now, you're going to get frustrated by uh, organic crystal production. Oh, I am already frustrated by it. <laughs> well, luckily, when you start going to other planets, technically other star systems, technically, if you don't mind waiting almost an hour, you can do that right now. You can find a planet with um, organic crystal veins. And mind you, that's about an hour for every 2.3 light years. So, probably about two hours there, two hours back, plus however long I spend actually mining. Yeah, I don't think I'm mm -hmm. going to be going that route. I was researching warpers during my stream yesterday when the two, while I was doing that, so I actually had warpers unlocked on the way home. Ah, nice. 
Well, I meant the actual warp thing. I already made some warpers ahead of time. So. All right, so we at least have production of the structure matrixes going. It's not a great setup, but it is going. We're going to start with the interstellar logistics system, get that uh, researching because that's kind of the biggest priority right now for me. And then we're going to go for the power transmission. And I wait to get the mining gas giants. Yeah, I see that's next. Gas giants only provide two resources, hydrogen and one other, and that's it. And it consumes part of the fuel to maintain its energy. Right. Blah. But if it always, it seems to always produce more than it actually has. Yeah. So, how does interstellar power transmission work? It doesn't. It's only to the star, to the local planet. The planets themselves don't share power. They only derive power from the sun via the Dyson Spear stuff. Then what the hell is the point of the interstellar power transmission? It's using interstellar as to mean it's not local to the planet. Meaning, transmitting from the star to the planet is not locally generated on the planet. But this, uh, the research says, using the energy exchanger, the surplus energy, electric energy in the grid can be made into a, a full accumulator, transported to another planet, and then released through the energy exchange. Oh, that's the battery. The, the accumulator are like batteries. So this basically charges up a battery, then sends that battery to another planet. Right. Well, no, you have to manually take the battery to another planet. Can I set or it you up can for have the... a, Or you can have a transport thing to it in okay. Isoferia. I'm sorry, Isoferia is here. This is my wife. She follows oh. you, too. <laughs> oh, well, hi. <laughs> I think I've seen you. Yeah, other than being batteries, they're about the only thing they're good for, where you can place them for power. It's like, well, you can't automate the pro the process to where it automatically puts the accumulators into that. Char it'll charge them and then it'll dump them into a storage, which is actually a handy way to do it. I feel like I can automate this. And if I can't, I will be rating this game 0 out of 10. What, automate the accumulators? Automate the uh, power transmission between planets. I think I can do it. It's a... The, you gotta remember, the accumulators are batteries. They won't actually put the power on the planet unless you actually place them down. According to this, the I need an energy exchanger on both the source planet and the other, the uh, receiving one. 
wait, wait, wait. I need to re I need to re re read this myself. I think you might be figuring out something I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't figure out. Ha ha! What was I setting up over here? I don't remember what I was going to automate production for over here. Something to do with these. I think it was the electromagnetic turbines. Probably so I can... Wait, no. Wait, yes. Oh no, yeah, that should work the way why. You just gotta put one of those on one plant and one of those on the other plant. I just haven't tr tried it for experimentation purposes yet. Well, I shall do it! Eventually. I haven't tried it because I, I just found automating making my solar panels and placing them on different plants was a bit more effective for me. I really don't want to set this up. What is this? Unipolar mag magnet. Oh, that's a specific vein. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be real handy down the line for making some things. Alright, electromagnetic turbine. Requires... But... Yeah. But you want to know the weird thing about the unipolar magnet? What? Um, well, there's two weird things. One, in actual reality, if you actually find one, you'll win a Nobel Prize because they don't technically exist. <laughs> um, two, they only exist on planets that are orbiting neutron or black holes. And now you know why I was going to look for a neutron or black hole yesterday. Ah, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Do we have X? Well, while I'm over here, I might as well store these in here. Do we have excess of those? Looks like we do, right here. Okay, I can make that in the replicator. I can make that in my replicator. Oh crap, I need titanium ingots for it. Of course I do. Hopefully I haven't used all of my titanium. Oh, and actually, better idea. We will drop down a storage container here. Fill it up with basically everything. And then go fly over to the other planet and grab a whole mess of titanium. Yep. Boom. What? Oh, I was just going boom because I emptied up my inventory. We are going to want some extra graphite with us. That should be more than enough. <clears throat> hey, Odd Socks! How's it going? Okay, trying to break atmosphere is not fun. Yeah, I just usually just hold down the shift till I'm actually out. Okay. Well, I am out, but now I gotta go past a giant planet and try to avoid its uh, gravitational well. Yeah, that's what I was trying to warn you about before we shot past it. If you move too fast, you can... The gravity for the planet will slingshot you. 
All right. We are headed that direction. So, one thing before you may actually try it, don't worry about bouncing into a star or a black hole by accident. You don't take damage, you just bounce. Wait, that's a thing? Yes, that's a thing. You fly right into the sun there and you won't take damage, but you can't actually do anything with the sun. I, I kind of want to try and bounce into the sun. Do that anytime you want. You can do that right now if you want. If you hold down the shift key, you you should be able to get up to one thousand um, meters per second. The problem is, is that my uh, energy. Uh, You'll get the, better energy. Like I said, the next one up from what you're currently using is hydrogen fuel rods. I suppose I should have set some of those up first. Yeah. Then after that is deuterium fuel rods, and then you have the antimatter, and those are all end products. So whatever you have left over, you're stuck with. But... Oh, I'll use it eventually. Oh yeah. All right, guys. So we are flying to another uh, planet. It's gonna take a little bit of time. Okay, so, uh, yeah, flying in this takes a very long time. I got lucky yeah. the first time I moved, I jumped planets because they happened to be right next to each other. Yeah, the seed I wound up starting with for my stream, all the planets are orbiting the gas giants. They're all right next to each other. Oh, that would have been nice. Well, that's why I was saying each planet's tilt and the light for each player is unique. That's why some people like me get away with four cannons or even eight cannons around the pole. Some people just get away with like two. As far as firing the uh, solar sails go. Go away! I don't need you up right now! You know, it's a really good thing that... Uh... You don't take uh, crash damage from slamming face first into a planet at literally well, thousands. Well, yeah, they don't have they don't have they don't have dangers like they have in Factorio implemented yet, but it is planned. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Aha! Here we go. Oh, I'm out of, uh, energy. No flying for me! Ah, look at all that sweet, sweet titanium. You know, I was sitting. I was sitting here, like, you know, I should probably plop down uh, one of those uh, wireless transmission tower things so I could actually recharge my suit faster. Then I realized I emptied out my entire inventory before I came over here. Yeah, I made sure to automate a lot of stuff, like the whole power Tesla power pole for the next grade up. And even then, there's the satellite ones, which are the next one up from that. Well, well I am slightly, 
I am slightly disappointed by the satellite ones. Why are you disappointed by those? Well, they free up a huge area because they, they have a huge power range. They don't charge the mech. Oh. And you gotta use the ones to charge the mech in order to make those. I guess it's just a trade off. I am very much unaccustomed to ha not having everything I could want at my disposal in my inventory. Because I keep being like, you know, maybe I'll just uh, set down a storage cube over here, hook this into it, and grab the uh, ore to smelt myself instead of waiting for the smelters. And then it occurred to me that, wait, I don't have all that. it all out of my smelters. Sorters are the ones I really like, especially since you can do overflow control on them. I mean, the splitters. What about splitters? You can do overflow, so your overflow goes in storage if you want. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, if you know about setting the filters on them and all that. Wait, filters on the splitter? Yeah, click on your splitter. Okay, each icon is relative to how you look. If you just click on it once, it'll prefer to send that side, and then everything else will be considered overflow should the belt back up. Oh. You could also tell it to send only one item to one side, so if you need to cross two different items, you can do that. But I assume that I'm going to need to have multiple items going into it in order for it to do that. Right, you'll need multiple items going in it to do that, yeah. It's also a good way to say, like, if you have several miners going, you can merge their lines together. Yeah, I, I do have that set up. I, I did notice people, the priority thing, but I didn't understand what the purpose of it was. But now that you explained that, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. There's even the different styles of splitter. See, when you hit tab before you set it down, you can see what the different styles are. Wait, really? Yeah. There is so much to this game that they do not explain! What okay, the fuck? One style, <laughs> two lines going one direction, two lines going out of the other direction, stacked on top of each other. And another style is has one side raised up higher than the other. I mean, as far as the splitters go, okay. you have to press tab. Of place it though in order to cycle the styles. Okay. Learn how to, if you practice how to do it right, you can make 
pretty good inventory control buses, so you can make five. Um, if you ever bother doing a supply bus for your planet, you can hit that helps control it all to spare it. Your flow goes one way and everything goes over the other way, stuff like that. Sounds like your chain raiders is up too. Yes, it is. Which will work because I'm going to leave myself working on this for the foreseeable future. Also, it really bugs me that my energy can apparently only get to 379 megajoules. Oh, you can, you can improve that via the upgrades. I know, but it bugs me that it's 379 instead of just 380. Yeah, I'm up to 1.53 gigajoules. And that's not enough for warp speed. Oh, I'm sure it isn't. Uh, I think at the top of the charge, the long trip, the top of the long All right. And the victory is ours! Unfortunately, no crowns to give out, but the Centurion Scroll goes to Odd Socks. Congratulations. Now for Extinct Magic. Man, I wish my mage were up or, uh, so I could place him on this one. You know what? I'm gonna bring my healer. He's got magic. And he zaps enemies nearby when he heals. So, yay. Now, Martin video number three. Also, guys, do not forget to use your cobalt marks to, uh, for the, uh, boost. The stream boost is live. So this little Sable, uh, this is Uma, and she is just being very uh, energetic today, <laughs> or at least in this video. Burning off some extra energy and playing around with her human. Yes, Noct, uh, using your cobalt marks uh, underneath the chat you can uh, contribute to the stream boost. What that does is it uh, puts the, once the uh, goal is completed, each person can only uh, contribute once per stream. Uh, I can't actually uh, contribute, unfortunately, but uh, once it is filled, uh, the stream gets put in front of 2,800 people. It's a good, it's a great way even to uh, support the stream. We don't wind up getting many of them coming back to the stream, but we have had a few. It pops up every now and then, and we've got about two days each time to complete the uh, goal. So go make sure you use your cobalt marks. <clears throat> In fact, I think I might go and reduce the cost of the Martin videos so people have uh, don't spend all their marks on those. I am not leaving this planet until my inventory is entirely full. Uh, knocked not that one. Uh, no, you have to actually contribute your marks to the goal, to the community challenge. Uh, doing that doesn't actually uh, contribute to the challenge. I'm actually going to uh, refund that.
fact, I have a lot of stuff to get through. much for that resub. I really appreciate it. No, I'm not going to refund marks. As much as I want you guys to contribute to the community challenge, I just wouldn't feel right about manipulating it that way. Champion returns. Welcome home. All right, we have the energy exchanger unlocked now. Also, Jaffer, thank you very much for that resub. We actually need one more subscriber in order to, uh, right now we got 49 subscribers. I need one more, uh, in order to make sure that I get a, uh, payout next month. <laughs> well, that works. It fills you with determination. Thank you for the gift sub. And there you go, uh, Typhon. You are now subscribed. I don't know if Typhon's yeah. still Oh, there he is. You don't sound very enthusiastic about it. I know, I don't, I know, I don't sound like I have much emotion, do I? Yeah, it's all right. Then the one next to you is military. I don't show emotion that well. Ah, uh, I, I do understand that. I'm not ex-military, but I've been around, uh, my dad yeah, was ex-Marine Corps. I worked for Marine Transport. <laughs> my dad was a captain in the Marine Corps. We had a roommate, uh, or I had a roommate years ago who, uh, was, I know he was Marine Corps. I know he worked with artillery. I don't remember what rank he achieved before he, uh, left. And then my grandpa was Navy. Oh. And there's my wife. Yep. I'm sorry to hear about that. Yeah. You're sitting here right next to me, by the way. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, but also given how I'm not a fan of the American health system because of her health issues, I decided, oh, why not move to her country? So I've been living in Australia for the last couple of years. Oh, hey. Jaffer is uh, from Australia as well. His wife from was from the U.S. And the opposite of me and my... Yeah, my yeah. Uh, Aunt Sox is also from Australia. Um, we currently live in the Tasmania area. For me, I, I fully understand the complaints with the uh, American healthcare system. The U.S. is very like much it. a third world country with a Gucci belt.
For me, I have uh, tumors throughout my uh, body that grow and shrink based on my stress levels. And they're they're all technically benign, uh, but they swell up when I get stressed, and most of them are in locations where that causes pain. Because, you know, when you're, uh, like, in your muscles, you're, they're not supposed to have something inside them expanding. But yeah, the healthcare system here is absolutely atrocious. I am hoping and praying that if nothing else, we get one thing out of the pandemic, and that is a fix for the, the healthcare system. It's a long shot, but I am hoping and praying. In my like, case there, I've got a back condition where <clears throat> part of my lower spine isn't producing enough calcium anymore, so I'm looking at a spinal fusion, disc replacement, a divorce wheelchair. Yeah, I've got a friend who, uh, his voice box developed a polyp on it. But the doctors were con were considering removing that polyp to be a cosmetic surgery. And so he was not allowed to get that uh, polyp removed uh, without paying them the tens of thousands of dollars up front. Then it turned cancerous. And at that point it was life threatening so he was able to go get it removed. But it being removed involved his entire voice box being removed. Ow. So he can no longer speak because somebody wouldn't do a surgery and let him pay them over time. Because they wanted their tens of thousands of dollars up front. Yeah, it's I don't absolute, get that. it's absolute garbage. The only reason I got looked after for my medical stuff was because I was a veteran, so at least that was something. Yeah. I know the roommate that was in the Marine Corps uh, has a lot of medical problems for from the uh, his time in the military, and he has a hell of a time getting the VA to actually help him. Yeah. I already did, Jaffer. Jaffer keeps trying to convince me to move there. And it's more of a matter it's of... That. It's more a matter of, I don't have the money for that. I barely yeah, I make ends. I was in the U.S. I would be her. My father-in-law surprised me by taking out a loan just to help me get down here. We're paying it back. I don't have anybody that would be willing to do that for me. At least not as far as I'm aware. And either way, so it would not be just me. About... It would be. Uh, it would be my roommates as well. Yeah, some of them. between the airfare, visa, and the medical stuff that the visa wants you to do for medical exams and stuff, it cost me almost seven grand to get down here. And that's even not even that's including the shipping stuff. I'm the shipping costs. I'm sure for getting some of your belongings with you. Oh, I just. Well, I'm a very minimal person. Well, yeah. Okay, I stand corrected. She said about ten grand, but, um, but, well, I was living kind of minimal, so I only took what I wanted. Uh, like I knew my, like I knew my DVDs and stuff wouldn't be compatible for over here, so I didn't bother with them. So I just took my clothing, some stuff, and that, and everything just fit on the plane. So that just 
that was it. I am fairly minimal on most of my stuff as well, except for one major thing, my streaming setup. Which is a no. convoluted well, I, mess as hell. I actually took apart my computer and safety coded it this way here. All I had to worry about was new case when I got down here. That could be an option, but yeah, I would definitely need to uh, ship stuff. Yeah, and then Cause... that broke, and one of my guild mates for the guild I run, who's also a friend of ours down here, gave me his old computer because he was upgrading. For me, the quality of my streams is the absolute most important thing to me. Oh yeah, no, I can agree with that, being a streamer myself, and it's a very good streamer too, she can also agree with that too. Uh, but I could not, I, I'm constantly trying to improve and upgrade and stuff. But either way, it would be a matter of not only me, but a uh, few people trying to move. Yeah. Yeah, it's always a production. Granted, eventually it will probably happen. It's just going to be several, several years down the line. I don't know if you ever do come by Tasmania, come by Australia, and you have to buy, and ever come down to Tasmania, you can feel free to pay me and some free of visit. I think that Odd Socks is said he was north of Tassie. Every place in Australia is north of Tassie. Tassie's an island off the southern coast. Oh. I don't know. I just know Odd Socks lives in Australia too. All you have to do is look at a picture of Australia and you see that little island, that large island off their southeastern coast. That sometimes shows up in the picture of Australia? Uh, That's yeah. Tasmania. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that I, that large island off the southeastern coast of Australia, that's Tasmania. Ah. Okay, Odd Sad Sex is in Victoria. That's on the main one. And Axe says he's in ACT. I've got no idea where that is. Safari will probably know where that is, ACT. So it's oh. Pat. And Tori's the pot that's first brought on this uh, pop-off. Alright, our inventory is full of titanium. Now for the journey oh, back. Back in New South Wales, but... Break free! All right. Where the hell is home? Uh, there it is. Speed up. In the way we go! Uh, ACT is not in NSW. I, I, I don't know what any of that means, but sure. NCW is New South Wales. Okay. Which is a territory in Australia. Okay, um, to use American terms, you might understand there, it sounds like ACT might be considered an independent township surrounded by another, uh, by another town. Basically, it's a different state, but it's surrounded by another state. Ah. Okay. Okay. So All kind right, of like yeah. the Vatican, you know, not quite the same, but 
similar concept. The Vatican and... Yeah, similar uh, concept. Yeah. Hong Kong. I mean, I know those are separate city-states, but, uh... Like, actual... Basically, nations, but... Similar concept. Yeah. And here we go for the crush landing! Oh, crap. Do not launch me! There we go. Aha! We have made it home. Now, where the hell is... Okay. Gotta go that way. But yeah, if you place foundations on a barren world or around where there's trees there, on, even on that world, you, you'll get soil pile. Which will let you fill in the oceans, though. You do need water for some stuff. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's go ahead and stick some of this titanium in here. We'll just do two rows of it. Grab our organic kisties from there. Drop them off in here. I'm probably gonna need more diamonds. No, diamonds seem to be okay. Now, over here. And grab all my stuff back. A blue 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 Oh, so then, uh, well, I, I mean, see. Like, I see. Like yeah. Oh, good to know. Thank you. I'll leave some of that in there. We don't really need all of that with us. That is sufficient. All right. Planetary logistics system. We have plenty of steel. Those can both be made in the uh, replicator. Um, This is our problem. This is the problem, child. It's gonna be slow. Make it, make the chemical thing till you actually get up to getting the fire ice. I mean, thankfully, fire ice is right next to me. Oh, you in the gas giant or on one of the planets? The gas giant that I'm uh, floating around. Oh yeah, that'll be nice. You gotta use the graphite for quite a bit, for quite a few things, too. I believe the Chim is returning. 
Welcome home, Jim. Think of it as solid methane. That's about all. It, that's about what it actually is. Hi. Sleep well. Sorry, I was uh, talking with roommates that just got home. Oh no, that's fine. I forget, you like looking at No. I do. I made this before I came home. Ooh. It's a little flat because of how I have packed it, but. Jim has brought me a very well-stuffed uh, baked potato. I enjoy these baked potatoes a lot. They are incredibly unhealthy, but I enjoy them. They're not too unhealthy. This is loaded up with about a mountain of cheese, a bunch of bacon, I mean, I guess the jalapenos might actually have some nutritional value. Potatoes, I guess, are okay. of the structure matrixes. I don't have that set up good enough. Like, I really don't think I'm going to be able to pull off 1,200 of them anytime soon. I suppose we could research that, and probably that. Mm 
Ooh. Shepherd's pie is amazing. I've actually been really craving shepherd's pie myself. But I didn't want to bother Chim with the craving. Okay, I want to make shepherd's pie as well. It's just I need stuff for it and time. It's something I'm going to need to make on a day off. Yeah. Which normally my days off are taken up by D&D. &D. Alright, another giant chain of conveyor belts. Bring that over to here. <clears throat> and we are looking to make, what was it again? These with that. Stop making me more hungry! I can help. The chicken's not that appealing, but... No, never mind. I mean, I'd still happily eat it. But isn't that yours? It was a free employee meal, so it's fine. Yeah. You're hungry. And then I need to cook this. No, it's okay. Okay. Take it. Chim has given me a giant thing of fried chicken now. Potato and chicken. Okay. okay. Would you get up in the air, please? Thank you. Whee! Ah, we need more conveyor belts. We can literally not have too many conveyor belts. Alright, while those are crafting, let's go run stream radars. Uh, no, it was not Light Paw. At least I assume that your work didn't uh, bring KFC. Um, we have a kitchen that makes sense. Yeah, they have their own kitchen at his work. You don't have to share everything. Alright, Wolf Fab with most kills and max troops. 
I have never actually had chicken and waffles. The gold goes to Light Paw and the Flying Rogue scrolls to Odd Socks. Congratulations. Uh cooldowns on units is annoying. I guess I'll bring my monk. Monk! I need a monk! Alright everybody, go place your troops. How are you going to send me chicken and waffles? Oh, you're going to make Chim cook it. Most likely. Uh, just FYI, we will also require the, uh, a waffle iron. And the Kitsune tax. Oh, yes, uh, Chim will require payment as well for this service. <laughs> it will not last if you send it through the mail. Babush. Let my drones pick up a uh, thingamajiggers. While I come down here and hook these up. Watching things travel along conveyor belts is just so nice. It's okay, Wolfab. I was mostly joking on that. We'll start with the assembler to make these. All oh, right, I need to get some more iron. 
iron, 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 I got iron in my belly, iron in my belly, I am gonna die. Iron, 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 why did I eat iron? I really don't know, but it was a bad idea. Because you think Martins can eat anything? Eat that! I got full. Really? Yeah. Oh. Well, okay. Enjoy. But you could save it for later. No, you can enjoy it. Uh, Light Paul, we don't have any, uh, we don't have any, uh, waffle iron. Or cooker. Or anything of that nature. I'm gonna just make five of these. Because I know I'll eventually use them. Okay, guys, so we're having a uh, argument here that maybe you all can help us solve. Rob Hughes Foundation, assist me. Timmy is under the impression that a lion would beat a marten. However, a marten would simply drop onto the lion's back and start tearing out its neck. It's throat. And this is why tigers are better than lions, because tigers would just pounce on the marten and the lion and eat them both. Ladies, you're all beautiful. J Jaffer, I'm not going to do that one. Sorry. Okay, this is cool. I had no idea I could do this with the uh, splitter. Very good to know. Very good to know. You are correct on that, Jaffer. However, you have to remember the fact that while, yes, the lion is bigger than the Marden, Size does not always matter. Size matters. Not Size always. Is bigger than the boat. Okay, seriously. A tiger is bigger than both the lion and the marten, and would eat you both. As I said, this, is, this feels like a playmat. What? What are you talking about? Mouse pad. Did your laptop come in? No. Next Friday. Oh, why did he get you that? 
Because he got me a mouse, too. Hmm. Alright, we are going to craft those there. We'll do that. We're gonna craft some more splitters. Especially now that I understand uh, some new stuff that I can do with them. Some new stuff that the game never bothered to tell me. I realize it's still in early access, but seriously? There. Now, this direction will be... No, that's not what I want. So we'll have that all stored for now. Jaffer, I still maintain that size is not everything. I mean, dogs are quite lar uh, quite a bit larger than a Martin, and yet they are able to be taken down by a Martin. Simply because the Martin has more stamina, the Martin is more agile, and able to get onto the dog as opposed to just uh, jumping around and stuff or uh, by jumping around rather Yes, the main would be a problem. I would fully uh, say that. However, Martins are able to take down deer as well. They regularly hunt deer. I maintain that it's uh, possible that a Martin could beat a lion. We'll do that. Feed there. Let's do this then. There we go.
I mean, I've also never seen anything about a uh, lion taking down a marden because, you know, they live in very different uh, parts of the world. Alright, so we got production for that going. What was I going to work on next? I think these. Yes. I mean, we could solve this. We could have uh, Kairos fight uh, Sobel. What? <laughs> yeah, there is that point as well, Jaffer. So we're never going to know which would win. But there are points to be made for both of them. And it highly depends on the situation. produced we need to get these processors uh, automated that's gonna be a bitch to set up Nate, good to see you again. How's it going? Rank up. Hold the line. This hamlet shall not fall. Hey, Brew Chimera. Thank you very much for that uh, raid. Welcome, everybody. I am Razim. We are doing... Uh, Dyson Sphere Program. Alright. Uh, we should really get this up and running. Because eventually that iron vein is going to run out. It'll run out sooner rather than later. So we need a backup. I think we will do 
this. Uh, take that off. Move it to this side. After we chop down this tree. So what were you doing today? Well, thank you very much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Uh, why don't you... Uh, let me go ahead and uh, get this up. Uh, do this in the chat for me. Yay! Mini fusion! Oh, you were doing Pokemon! All right, number 161. Let's get that up. But yes, hello everybody, welcome to the stream. I am Razim. We do a variety of games here on the channel. Uh, a lot of uh, things like Dyson Sphere, uh, We've also done RimWorld in the past, and I'll be getting that set up to do again at some point when I find time to do so. Uh, then we also have a lot of tabletop games here on the channel. Uh, a lot of different... Uh, we've got Dungeons & Dragons several days a week. We've got a Pathfinder game coming. Uh, there's Exalted, there's World of Darkness, and Starfinder. Hey, somebody who knows who, what a Martin is. Awesome. Wait, why Jaffer? <clears throat> and yes, uh, for those that are unaware, this little guy on the street, on the uh, uh, screen here, is a uh, Pine Martin, just a little baby one. Well, probably like teenage kind of one. Not actually baby, but still. Uh, I've got a lot of Martin videos that I bring up on this uh, channel for people. I, I do so love Martins, they are amazing critters. I don't know. I might stick with yours, Jaffer. I'd rather support somebody I know. Become ah, have another. I can deny it no longer. I am small. Becoming increasingly obvious. I can deny it no longer. I am small. Becoming increasingly obvious. Oh, well, if that's the case, then all right, I'll do that one. All right, now back to the game. We'll put it there. Kind of put up one of these. Uh, my inventory is getting very full. Let's at least go dump this off. Jim, why are you giggling maniacally? Discord?
Alright, well, things are running well. I would like to know what that icon is, but I have no idea. I'm assuming it's along the lines of a, hey, we're almost out of resources, or something to that effect. Two more of these to our little lineup. Go ahead and break that up. a moment but everything should uh, stabilize again pretty quick is it just me or is this not actually running out I can't really tell Right, I got completely distracted. What? Was... I, I was going to work on these, which are going to require high purity silicon, which is a slight problem. We will run the uh, Stream Raiders in just a moment. Eh, we'll go ahead and go do it now. Why not?
All right, we have Wolf Fab with most kills, and that is it to give out. The gold goes to Light Paw, and the bomber scroll to Wolf Fab. Congratulations. Oh. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I shall bring my work, Slayer. Now back to the game. Hopefully, I, I don't know if the sorter will actually pull out of that. Oh, that is up in, okay. That is not what I want to do. How did that lower? Did I actually tell it to lower? I don't remember. Oh, I see what happened. Ugh. It is so difficult to uh, place conveyor belts above each other. and stuff in the way because that stuff is useful it may be only for very specific uses but usefulness is still usefulness many of those. Smelters. 
Put a splitter there, I suppose. My oh, there it is. <clears throat> I was like, Am I out of those? <laughs> Alright, we will set up another storage container for the uh, raw silicon here. Or silicone, silicon ore, however it's said. That feeds in there, that feeds in there. We want high purity silicon. And both of these get priority. Oh, that is not what I want. Okay. We will Yeah, cuz we're eventually going to run out of silicon. Actually, it won't be hard at all for us to run out of silicon considering how long it takes to craft. more smelters. Yeah, I thought I could prioritize more than just one port. It sucks that I cannot. We need more of these. And that. 
There we go. So we are producing a whopping 13 silicon ore per minute. Oh boy. Hopefully that'll be enough. It is not a lot, but we don't have a pure silicon vein on this planet, so I'm making do with what I do have available, which is this. It is not ideal, but you gotta do what you gotta do with what you can do. We'll just do a basic one here. So this will be my uh, side storage for uh, silicon ore, in case I need to pick it up for reasons. Stick that there, stick that there. a little more out after we actually figure out how far out we need them that is oh it's so nice to know about that uh, what all we can do with the <laughs> splitters and stuff Babush. It's 
So this one will be personal storage. The other one is... You know, uh, for inventory storage thing. There we go. Oh, we're producing upwards of 20 silicon ore per minute now, but cons consuming almost 50. This is very much not good. I'll cancel that filter. Have we already gone through everything in this? Okay, it's not even touching the lower storage. That's not what I want set up. There. And then we'll use one of these Mark III sorters here. set this to only 10 cuz i shouldn't need to grab out much more than that at any time So we need that to produce those. <laughs> bring that up and bring it over to this side. to make or uh, leave space for processing this uh, copper. Yay! Why do I play these kinds of games? 
But everything gets so convoluted. I mean, I definitely still enjoy them, but still. Catharsis? Is that it? Need a foundation here. That placed two of those. That's not what I wanted, but oh well. Is copper ore, right? Yes. I wasn't sure if that was actually ore or if I was pulling off a uh, uh, pull or if I was pulling uh, whatever you call them into it. I ingots. The splitter there. Storage container here. Feed that there. Feed that there. You know, that's fair, Lightpaw. That is fair. And definitely a valid reason to enjoy such a game. one gets the priority. Actually, no, we'll do no priority and only fill up those two, that first row on that one. Now this is kind of an end of the line thing, so I'm just going to do a big storage here. This is producing 22 of them per minute. This is trying to consume how many of them?
So this will need uh, 30 of these per minute. So it's not going to be a maximized output, but I'm going to, but I'm literally doing the absolute best I can. Uh, no, uh, the captain, myself, uh, I only get to place one unit. Uh, the rest of you can place a unit every five minutes. I'm actually only going to keep two stacks of those on hand. <clears throat> Just because I uh, don't know if I'm actually going to need these for anything, for any other reason. are producing 30 of them per minute as long as the uh, savings uh, thing kind of keeps up basically which is seen anybody I don't think it's actually possible to get seven I don't think that's possible like I've never seen anybody pull it off uh, troops oh, no, that's not possible. yeah because as soon as I click that start it's the uh, it starts at 30 seconds or 30 minutes.
Yeah, I, I don't think it's possible to get seven. Anyway, stream riddles! Go forth, my minions! Conquer in your king's name! Even then, uh, the match timer is lower. Yeah. All right, we have Wolf Fab with most assists, and that is it to give out. The Buster Scroll goes to Odd Socks, and the Paladin Scroll to Not. Congratulations. Now for the loyalty skin chest. Oh, I hope I get it. I really want more of these skins. I'm liking these skins. to the game. Thank you. All right. So right now, what I'm really wanting to get set up is this. We need sulfuric acid. We need to get that production going. Oh, apparently planets have... <laughs> apparently I can find a planet with an ocean that is made of sulfuric acid. Great! <laughs> that sounds horrifying. Alright, so we need crude oil... Water and stone. We do have excess crude oil up here that we can make use of. For this production. Wait, was it crude oil or was it the processed stuff? Okay, it's refined oil. Okay. Yeah, we got refined oil there. We need stone, which is conveniently over here. We have a stone miner on this set already, but I don't really want to use that one. I want to save that one to remain dedicated to uh, silicon production. Speaking of... We are going to make some more of these. <clears throat> okay, 
that's too close. That one's probably too far. But this one is just right. <laughs> Do that. Not those. I want this. And these will be silicon ore. Get that production up a bit more. Oh! Uh, this isn't good. Okay. We're gonna replace this with one of these. Right, there is a uh, starbound. There is such a planet in Starbound. I forgot about that. I really need to do Starbound again. We were going to. We just never did. Yeah, kind of the uh, situation on a lot of things with the channel. Might have been. Oh yeah, that's what it was. And we kind of had fun with Terraria. We still need to do that again. Yes. <laughs> I did not spend 20 minutes getting you something that spends most people one hour for you to never use it. I mean, I used it. You gotta use it more. We are playing Terraria just so you can slap dirt and stone with the shark, okay? Oh, 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 okay. Good looking. Good stable. I will do so with a shark. Oh, that one's not uh, powered. So we are producing more of the high purity silicon than we are consuming, which is great. Uh, we are definitely not producing enough of the silicon ore, though. So everything is going to be grinding down to a halt soon. Once it's all... Uh, well, not to a halt, but almost. Anyways, back to what I was work uh, going to work on. Uh, I just used my other last miner. We'll just make one for now. Keep it out of uh, keep my inventory a little more clean. That'll work. 
work. conveyor belts. We always need more conveyor belts. Now let's bring these across the ocean. Well, yes, across the ocean. Where else would we bring it? Bloop. God, I'm out of fuel. Uh, Brew, uh, when it comes to the, uh, Pokemon, uh, some of them are, uh, restricted only to subscribers. It's their oh, it's a little bonus that I give them. Uh, you'll you can use exclamation point extension to see uh, all of the ones that are available to you. Yeah, all the uh, mo well, most of the uh, max tier evolutions. Uh, the legendaries, those are all reserved for subscribers. I don't have a whole lot to give them, so that's what I give them. <laughs> don't worry if you're not a sub. We have a lot of very nice people who randomly come through and just throw subs at people. Yeah. Though that hasn't really happened in a while. Uh, week and a half. It wasn't a big one, but a week and a half ago we got five or ten gift subs. That's why I'm a sub again. Oh. Because uh, I was a sub until you moved in, and then it's like, well, that, there's no reason to be. I mean, there's still reason. Okay, there's no good reason for that extra money cut. Yeah, fair. those in there
Oh, I love mayo. It really is a very cool thing that some of them do. I appreciate all of the support that uh, comes in. Uh, it's very much the entire reason that I'm able to continue bringing these streams like I do. I would definitely still be streaming even if that wasn't the case. But it keeps them going. Uh, keeps me... Uh, with all of them as it is. I mean, I don't know if cheesesteaks are, would be considered a, uh, sub. Definitely a sandwich. But there is a surprisingly a large amount of debate about what is and isn't a sandwich. Like, to the point where there have been court cases to try and determine what is and isn't a sandwich. Let's see. Uh, I, I typically do that as well, Brew Chimera. I typically do that too. Hello, hello. So, a submarine sandwich, which is uh, North America, North American descent, apparently, is where the word came from, uh, is a sandwich made of a long roll, typically filled with meat, cheese, and vegetables, such as lettuce, tomato, and onions. So, I am going to look into it more, but that means that a Philly cheesesteak well, or cheesesteak sandwich would need to fit the sandwich definition and then it would need to have the vegetables and such to go with it. So uh, MatPat did a video about the court cases. Basically the gist of it was there were there was a mall in New York uh, that uh, there was a mall in New York that uh, had a food court and one of the businesses that moved into this mall uh, part of their contract was they would be the only sandwich shop in the mall and uh, then I. I I forget the exact details. It's one way or the other, but I believe it was that a Mexican place opened up and the company that had the sandwiches threw a fit over the Mexican uh, restaurant because their tacos were sandwiches. So that had to go to court to determine whether a taco would be classified as a sandwich. Or maybe it was a hot dog shop. I, I forget exactly. 
But you guys, it's on food theory. Oh yeah, technically fried chicken could be considered a sandwich. <laughs> oh right, it was uh, Panera and Chipotle, yeah. And it was over burritos, that's right. Technically, Karma, um, was it ruled as a slice of bread? I forget. I do know that per the Supreme Court, or at least a justice of the Supreme Court, uh, a hot dog is a sandwich. And let's not forget also that uh, Subway's sand uh, Subway's sandwich bread is technically not bread; it is cake. Uh, at least to the Ir the Irish government. I personally just know that the definition of a sandwich is an item of food consists consistent of two pieces of bread with meat, cheese, or other fillings between them. Yes, Noct. Uh, Ireland's uh, government has ruled that Subway uses too much sugar in their bread for them to be considered uh, for their bread to be considered uh, bread. Therefore, it is classified as a cake. <gasps> this is why I love MacPat's channels. It's like you learn all of these weird, entirely useless tidbits of information. And I fully know it's useless, but it's a fun fact. Yeah, for tax purposes. Yeah, uh, they, they ruled it as cake for taxing. Again, I can't take credit for it. It was Matt Pat's research.
Oh, that's right. I watched those videos a while ago, so I didn't remember all the detail, the nitty gritty details. But yeah, uh, they Ireland ruled it as cake because it's considered a luxury item as, instead of a staple. Which, you know, eating out, I would consider a luxury regardless, but, you know. Damn it. That's not what I wanted to do. Get that back up there. We'll bring it out to, oh, that might run into the building here. Let's do this. There we go. Oh, that didn't... God damn it. was a terrible idea. Why did I do this? I should not have done it this way. this work. Uh, 
Boom. Alright, let me finish setting this stuff up and then we will run the Stream Raiders. I just kind of want to get this done. So we can start producing while I'm running. Cool, that can go straight down. There are a lot of things that gets discussed in court for no reason. Like the subway is cake thing. There was no reason that should have wound up in any sort of a serious situation. <clears throat> But the government wants their money. Whether it's Irish or US, they want their money. Alright. We'll do that there. Feed that over there. What do you mean, angle too wide? Is that... No, that's still not good enough. Oh, because of the curvature of... Ah! Uh, Monteron, you are so aggravating! It is disturbing to my demeanor. Okay. Like that. All right, let's go run Stream Raiders. Let those start running and let's begin.
Dang it! No skin! Ah! Uh. Well, we got Brew Chimera with Max Troops. Thank you for that. As well as Wolf Fab with Most Kills. I accidentally put in a dash. There we go. The gold goes to Noct. Congratulations. On to the Oasis Outpost, I believe. And I'll bring my bomber. All right, everybody, go place your troops. Hey! I now have spells. Or at least I should. Who knows how they work? I just completed that quest, so... I don't know if it's supposed to be somewhere over here or not, but... We'll see what happens. Alright, place your troops, let's get back to the game. Uh, I am actually going to step away for just a moment, actually. Uh... I need to step away. So I shall leave you with this. As fast as I can make it, Zerda.
the song slowed down is actually kind of nice. <laughs> air, air. Percent speed and OBS was just like, uh, we're not doing 10 percent speed on the sound, we're just turning off the sound. Uh, I believe it is actually from, uh, oh, wait, I guess it was still playing. It just wasn't coming through for me. with that this one. Is Sparta! Ouch. Effort, I can only go up to two, uh, question if you got some time uh sure i just wanted to ask uh what's the best way to get the new p the new uh, books from the our campaign i'm trying to get information but i don't know how to access access them uh i'll get that set up later oh okay yeah i've been trying to work on it but i got i don't have the book <laughs> Dusty was supposed to remind me last night, and he didn't. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, I, I I got a bunch of stuff that, like um planned out, but I need the actual numbers, unfortunately. So are you running it, or is he? No, he's running it, but I'm helping him uh, plan a lot of stuff. I already have. I, I helped him out plan out the the storyline already. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if... I think he mentioned it already that I'm helping him out. Yeah, he did. He just... I wasn't sure if he was running it or you or... No, nah, he's running it. I'm just the co-pilot, basically. Did he tell you the idea I had for my character? No, he did not. Which is weird, because I've been pestering him every day. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I just told him it today, so that's probably... Oh, why. okay. Yeah, because I've been talking to him every day and giving him ideas and getting everything ready. But we're, miss we're just missing that to actually start working on it. <clears throat> Basically, uh... So, the old Friday group, I played a character named Nimotar. Uh, Nim. And <laughs> he, uh, we ended that campaign with him, with everybody, uh, getting sucked down into a whirlpool and presumably dying. Okay. And, well, uh, I ran this by Timmy, because uh, 
he knows, you know, magic like the back of his hand. Um, and he's like, this, it would work. Uh, basically, the idea is Nim is a planeswalker. And, well, your first planeswalk, you're usually not aware of where you're going or even that you're planeswalking. Uh, right. And so Nim, he didn't want to die. And you normally play and become a planeswalker when you're about to die. So it's, a, it's very common. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how he is now here instead of Fist of Furry. In addition, okay. because we already have a paladin, I didn't want to, because Nim was a paladin before. I didn't want to, you know, take that role. Um, <clears throat> Nim was married to another player, uh, Shenzi. Uh, she was a necromancer. And my idea is basically, while you can't take somebody living with you uh, when you planes walk, he managed to uh, pull her, basically her soul into him. And that is why he's now a wizard instead of a paladin. Oh, wow. Okay. <clears throat> that and his paladin powers, while typically, you know, with D with five, the fifth edition, they don't normally come from a deity anymore. It's your oath. Uh, his actually did, because he's a sentient feral wolf. Um, Timmy said it would work, and I like the idea. Okay. Everything sounds pretty concrete. The only part was the part of about planeswalking with somebody else, but then since you said it was just the soul, that should work. Oh yeah, that's what I said. That's my explanation for mm -hmm. <clears throat> why he's a wizard now, because, like I said, you can't actually bring somebody that's alive with you. Yeah. But, okay. if you're pulling their soul out of them and their essence and power and such, and it also explains why his levels got reset, because, you know, he has no idea of how the hell to do a wizard stuff. He was a paladin before. All right, I dig it. Okay, it works for me too. Thanks. I gotta get. It. <clears throat> uh, did you say what guild you were gonna be in? Uh, that's also important. I have to. I have no idea about the guilds. Damn. Okay. Honestly, that one's one we have to figure out because that's pretty important. So, something that I I don't know if you've looked through the books at all, but. Uh, when, uh, are all the players by default planeswalkers in this, uh, mode, in this universe? No. They don't have to. If you want to bring them from a different universe, the easiest explanation is a planeswalking. But you can also be a local. There's nothing that says you were just born in Ravnica. Alright, so... I'm assuming most of them were. I, I'm. If we're when we're going with the Greaves idea, probably most of them are just like. He'll just be like, I didn't follow the story at all. So now you're all over here. Let's see what you do with this world. Because that's exactly what Greaves would do. <laughs> yeah, I know. But uh. Sorry, Jaffer. We're switching the uh, Wednesday Dungeons and Dragons game to Ravnica. Because not even Gold King had any idea what was going on with the old story for the Wednesday group. Nobody understood it. it. Yeah, he's the one that made it. Speaking of, we need to figure out what Timmy's going to play. 
since he's... Oh, yeah, he yeah, said he was going to play a rogue. A rogue assassin. Oh. Okay, so I'm assuming with Demir as the guild. That's cool. <clears throat> he uh, wanted to play a variant human, but I generally just don't allow that in the uh, ZGF games. A variant human? What do you mean? Variant human for race. In 5th edition, uh, you can play as the basic human, which mm. already is fairly strong, or you can play as a variant human, which is... Well, they start with a feat. Okay. And feats in 5th edition are extremely powerful. Oh, okay. Well, depending on which one you get. Some of them, not so much, but most of them are very powerful. Hmm, okay. Well, hopefully he can get, uh, get to me or Dusty with whatever idea he's got. Your sounds pretty good, so I like it. I'm down with it. I just... I know elements, because his is pretty simple. I just don't know the rest, though, either. That's alright. My biggest concern is just knowing what guilds you guys are more inclined to or allied with or part of in a sense well uh so some things about nim first off he was raised to sentience by his deity uh salune um and so he's only been in civilization for a relatively short time You said he's an anthropomorph, right? No, feral. Oh, oh, he's just an actual with he four is, legs. Uh, uh, he is what is known as a noble wolf. Fun fact: the reason I have Nim is because a friend of mine wanted to play with me, but he insisted on only playing a feral character. And I'm like, well, fine. I'll figure out how that would possibly work. And then he wound up not actually playing for more than two sessions. And I'm like, I figured out how all of this could work, how you could level up, how you could be balanced, and I spent $20 on a book that helped guide me on this. I'm gonna play it if you're not. Okay. So. If that's what it is. You sound. Like, he would be with Celestia. Because I believe they do have uh, wolves like that. Which one is Celestia? Yeah. It's the green and white one. I really don't know. I understand that they stuff. Tend to be, they tend to be more in tune with uh, nature and being able to work together. They tend to lean oh. more into the good side of things. Oh, right, Night Trotter, you would know who I'm talking about. No, the person I'm talking about is Silver. Uh, yeah, he was a uh, Oath of the Ancients paladin. So, yeah, nature kind of stuff. Um, he... Uh, he, uh, just kind of doesn't really understand society that well. Uh, he still does not understand why eating the prey after we've killed them is a bad thing. Um, stuff like that. So he's still pretty wild in a sense. Yeah. Okay, then in reality you might fit better with the gruel then. Because they're, they're basically the same thing. They're just still nature in tune, but they're, you know, they're more wild barbarians and whatnot. If you feel like that might be a little closer to you, the character. Probably not. If they're wild mm. barbarian type stuff, that wouldn't fit him. Then Celestia is your best bet, then. Because the other green associated one is um, Golgari, but they're like, they're like nature necromancers. So I don't think that would fit. 
I mean, his, uh, I, I'm still debating on it, but Shenzi, the uh, soul that he absorbed, his wife, uh, who for the record was a uh, anthro hyena, she was a necromancer, and well, she, she was a special one. She was very similar to Nim in that she didn't understand social norms either. Also, guys, I am just kind of having fun watching all this uh, move along the conveyor belts while I'm talking. That's why I'm kind of not doing anything. I'm just enjoying watching the uh, stuff flow. Uh, but anyways, um... Yeah, she uh, a bit crazy, a bit in unstable. Okay. And uh, I'm debating about whether I'll play a necromancer like she was. I mean, it would make sense for him having, you know, taken her power. Uh, and, you know, of course, her soul could always be a plot point at some point. I don't have much plans there, but I don't. I wouldn't be opposed, and I already ran it past the original player. She's okay with whatever we want to do there. Okay. Um, but yeah, he he might be a necromancer, but still have his nature connection. Okay. Then yeah, I, with all that considered, your options, well, whenever you get a chance to think about it, would be Celestia or Goldari. So give it a give it a think give you know give it a thought whenever you get a chance. Okay. And then uh, I'm gonna have to talk to the rest as well. Uh, to see what they get, cause uh, Dusty's still pretty lost since we don't have the materials. So I'm been handling what's going on around here. I mean, I All linked right, the tutorial. I linked the material. I'll see you. That's all I wanted to ask. Uh, I said, did you not? Okay. <laughs> I guess he couldn't hear me. I had said something else, but oh well. I did link the t the uh, stuff they needed. It is really hard to tell whether... I wish each facility had an option for... Uh, that we could see this is uh, an, like the statistics panel but e for each facility. I'm confused as well, Karma. Don't worry. Now, what did I have said all this? Okay, I set up the sulfuric acid for something. Ah, yes, I needed to make this. Uh, Jaffer, it doesn't, it's not going to work like that. Uh, the MTG D&D &D game is going to be basically D&D &D set in Ravnica. Uh, there, it, that's basically it. I think I'm going to need to produce more sulfuric acid. Which is annoying. <clears throat> but that said, it looks like I will bring it here, kind of a central location. I don't 
know what you're talking about, Jaffer, but it worries me. Timmy? Yes? What is a Silver Queen? From what? Magic. A Sliver? Oh, Sliver Queen, yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. Slivers are a race of beings in the Magic Multiverse that are a hive mind like race. And they have the ability that their bodies are infinitely adapted. Whenever one sliver develops an ability, every sliver within range of that sliver also develops that ability as well. Ah! And you can have a sliver slivers with dozens of abilities and unique powers. <clears throat> Jaffer is saying that he's going to give my character a sliver queen for a pet. He was also talking about giving me a gem hide, a heart, and a basil. Or basal. Whichever one that is. He just wrote B-A-S-A-L, so it might be a misspell. Uh, but... Yeah! Well, technically, it is possible with influence. And I already have an idea of exactly how Nim would react to it. He would be confused, but ultimately just be like, huh, okay. that I know I can connect these uh, facilities directly to each other. I'm going to do just that. Why is nothing running? Where are we having a holdup? Are we having a holdup? Is there a problem? <laughs> I do not know. I think my entire holdup is from uh, the lack of silicon. directly into that.
Okay. Well, we are out of conveyor belts again. We need more freaking iron. Actually, don't we have a... Okay, no, we do not have a store of those. I should probably set one up. There we go. Now... More conveyors! There. We will come over here. Store that, store that. We'll throw that in there. Another loyal devotee. Alda, thank you very much for the follow and welcome. And yes, Brew Chimera, it is a lot of fun. I've been enjoying it a lot. All right, stream raiders. Start the battle. Alright, the Berserker Scrolls go to Lightpaw and the Monk Scrolls to Noct. Congratulations. Okay, I have completed the Spellbound one. I don't know where I actually, how I actually use those. Oh well. Thank you everybody for joining though. I am going to go ahead and call it at this point for the evening. Do check out our website zgfgaming.com. We got links for our Discord, Telegram, Twitter, Patreon, all those good things there on the website as well as down in the description below. Do consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash zgfgaming. It is only with your support that I'm able to continue bringing these streams to you all. I really could not do it without you guys. Thank you for the support. Thank you for coming by and hanging out. Uh, like I said, I'll be back tomorrow. Not sure exactly what I'll be back with, but we'll be back tomorrow. Uh, but yeah. Thank you again for joining, and I bid you the most fondest adieu. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget to that our merch on the website is going away on March 1st. Most of it will not be coming back. So go to zgfgaming.com slash shop. Uh, there's a coupon code merch transition. You can use that for 15% off on everything. And yeah, go grab what you want before it's gone. Ah, uh, yes, worldwide deliveries on all merch. Wolfab, you have asked me that question multiple times. Yes, you can use the coupon on multiple things, and if you redeem it on... If you redeem the, uh... I've answered it every time! 
All right. Anyways, I will see you all tomorrow.